learning model has acted as a compass for all of LIST for many years now, guiding us along the path towards exceptional learning experiences for all students, as well as committing that our entire system maintain a shared focus on student learning. As a district dedicated to continuous improvement, we listened to the encouragement of our predecessors and set out to update, modernize, and mirror the most current research in this new and improved learning model. When our department was charged with this task of updating and deepening the learning model, the first thing I did was I called my friend Eric Haug, who I knew had helped create the original learning model. We spent some great time together talking about the history, all the uh, effort that was put into developing the model, and uh, fulfilling that goal that we had to come up with a framework and give us guidelines on uh, what classrooms should look like. And, and how we can enhance student learning. About 15 years ago, um, we were a, a, a wonderful school district and we had our, our guiding, some of our guiding documents in place and uh, we were looking at what uh, the next steps needed to be in our progression toward improving uh, student learning. And basically what this tries to do is to uh, focus on how we want to go about what we're about, which is educating students. The student learning model quickly became a part of our guiding documents and, uh, and is a big part of the Leander Way. When I think about the learning model, then my mind goes back to the Leander Way because I believe the learning model um, was a way to think about how do we take those systems, we said think systems and think excellence and joy in learning, well what does, that, what does that look like? What are the processes that need to be in place for those things to happen? I was honored to be a member of the original learning model committee in the early 2000s and I'm equally excited to be a member of the current learning model committee. The committee was a mixture of personnel from across the district. There were um, instructional coaches, there were principals, there were people from the district level, there were teachers. But somebody that may be a custodian, somebody maybe it's a child nutrition services, somebody that may be driving a bus, your impact on what we do is every bit as relevant and important and meaningful as anything that I, th I think teachers do. The experience for kids from the time they get on the bus till the time they get home and all points in between. So they interact with so many different adults and our ability to look at that document and know that every person in that chain has an impact, a wholehearted impact every day on kids. So it creates a mindset, it creates a vision, it creates a we are in this together dynamic that I think is incredibly important. The learning model embodies the building blocks of student learning. Um, the black um, band talks about our guiding documents and those are the cornerstone of what we believe here in Leander SD. So they're essential to what we do, how we do business, and it shows our values and our hearts toward our students. In our original learning model, the learning environment was a part of our classroom processes and systems. But as we had dialogue together as a team, we realized that learning environment is more than just what happens in the classroom, it's also what happens in our campuses and in our departments around the district. So now that red section has moved to a ring around the outside of the classroom processes so that it can be a bridge between what happens inside the classroom and what happens in other parts of our district. All of the processes are intertwined to create an atmosphere of learning. This alignment supports student learning and achievement and gives teachers the focus through which to design, implement, and assess in the classroom for maximum impact on student learning. What excites me about the new learning model is that it's going to be a one-stop resource for us to find anything that we might need. Instead of going to three different places on the website, if I need support in one of the domains for leads, I can go to the learning model and find that support that's needed, whether it be a book, an article, a video, a resource that I can implement immediately in my classroom, it'll all be right there. We're all ecstatic that all of our hard work is finally going to come to life for all of you. With the new, improved, and updated learning model as our anchor, we truly have a guiding document that will allow us to maximize our focus on student learning.